Hello everyone and welcome back to WSO2 API Manager series. My name is Kumar Gaurav and I'm back with another video on WSO2 API Manager. So till now we have seen uh, our different options of API Manager including the walks of the portals, installation, uh, uh, changing the host name, setting of the admin password. Now we are proceeding next how to uh, create, publish and test an API. So this is the first part of uh, this particular tutorial. So let's start. So here is a quick agenda for today's session. So we will see there are certain prerequisites uh, for this uh, particular tutorial including users and roles. Next uh, creating and publishing an API and finally testing the API via curl and the postman. I uh, will also consider the, the testing via other options using the publisher portal and the developer portal. So if we talk about prerequisites which is uh, users and roles. So to create an API a user must have a creator role, to publish an API must have a publisher role and to test an API a user must have a subscriber role. So it, with wso 2 API manager we have a facility to segregate the user roles uh, based on that user can perform certain operation. Even we can include a workflow so that we can restrict the user operations for admin approval. Okay, And uh, if we have an admin user uh, role privileged uh, a user, uh, so he can perform all the operations uh, as mentioned in step 1 to 3. So in today's uh, uh, session we will use an admin user and in the next uh, tutorial we will consider creating a different roles and we will see how that uh, role based access control of all the features are accessible. So next uh, to create and publish an API we have to use the publisher portal. So as you can see in the publisher portal we have a facility to create an API and after creating the API via publisher portal using the create API option. Uh, we have to provide certain in minimal input parameters so that we can create an API and afterwards uh, we deploy the API to the particular gateway and we publish the API using the lifecycle tab available in the publisher portal itself. Next is uh, to test an API. So there is a very important feature available with wso 2 API Manager 4 that we can test the API before publishing it to the gateway. So if we have uh, created an API and deployed on the gateway, so we can test the API via the tryout console available in the publisher portal. So the minimal requirement of this uh, feature is that API must have deployed on the gateway and it has not published uh, for the uh, external consumption on the particular gateway. Okay. So next to test the API once we have uh, deployed the API and we have published the API, we can use the developer portal facility to test an API. Okay. So for testing the API, the minimal requirement is that API must have been a published state and the API must have a valid subscription with a particular application and the keys of that application should be generated. Okay. So then after we are good to proceed for the API testing via the developer portal. We can select the respective options and uh, we can test the API. The next option is available with API manager version 4 is that we can download the postman collection directly and we can import that postman collection into a postman client. So the postman client it is a REST uh, API testing client with the help of that we can seamlessly test our REST APIs. Next there are certain environments where we do not have uh, access to the uh, graphical user interface because postman requires the GUI so that we can enter the values to test the API. But if we do not have access to that we are good to test the API via curl. So curl is a command line utility available in most of the windows as well as the Linux machines so and uh, Unix based systems. So we can use that to test our API. And, uh, Finally, we have the postman option. So this is the typical user interface of a sample get request in a postman rest client where we have entered a sample mocky URL uh, to test an API and we have got the response including the HTTP status. So we will see all this 
capabilities in our today's live demo okay so let's begin the demo discussed uh, in the presentation that we are going to do the demo of create publish and test the apis so uh, let's see uh, our wc2 api manager so our api manager is already running so i have already started api manager so now let's uh, navigate to the publish portal visiting uh, dev.wc2.com 9443 so open with the admin credentials oh, oh. I changed the password previously ok so this is our publisher screen where we can see there are different options to create different type of APIs uh, here API is referring to an API proxy that have a valid backend that uh, implements the actual uh, service implementation con that contains the business logic. So we'll go to create a REST API. We'll create from scratch. I'll make this name as a test API 01. I'll give a test 01 version is 100 endpoint so for endpoint i have already one uh, mocky endpoint so mocky is a website uh, that gives a uh, quick way to create a sample uh, mock backends so we can we can create our uh, mock backend let's create a new mock backend so it's a very straightforward and simple website which you can use to generate a sample payload of a rest api we'll see the message the demo API testing okay sorry this is basically the header we don't like to pass any header as of now we just need a straightforward uh, the backend response just click on generate my HTTP response so this will create a sample backend for you so you can see how your mock URL is ready. You can just copy this, paste this, and there we go. So we see a sample JSON response is coming. So we'll copy this backend and we'll paste it over. The good thing is that uh, to avoid any SSL issue, we'll run with the HTTP URL. If you run this uh, URL with HTTP endpoint, it will also work. So don't worry on that part. So we'll do, do this for the HTTP URL. So to create an API, we will we'll create a create option. So we see the success message came. Now we will quickly see some of the basic information we can provide that who can uh, see the publisher and a developer portal access. So let's say I make it this as a internal subscriber role for the visibility. We give the tag as a test. Uh, rest of the parameters makes as a default. We'll save this configuration. Uh, let's say business owner. I'm the business owner of this API. I'll make my name over here. Okay. Kumar. I will provide a valid name. The technical owner. I'm also the technical owner. And the technical email remains the same. We'll save this configuration. Next, go to subscriptions. So, as of now, we'll create, we'll select all the subscription, save the configuration documents. As of now, no document is here, uh, no comments here. We go to the API configuration, quickly see the runtime. So, for runtime, we have HTTP, HTTPS based URL, application level security will make us OAuth and API key as well. And authorization header is makes authorization only. We'll save this configuration. okay so for resources part uh, as you have seen that i have configured the endpoint complete over here but uh, there may be possibility i have multiple backends i will take it from here we'll save this we'll go to the resources tab and uh, i create a new resource over here with the get resource i'll delete rest of the uh, resources with the star configuration Okay, I need to add this here and save the configuration. 
okay so this way uh, i have added one resource to this particular api so the ideal way is that if you have multiple resources that belongs to a particular api so you must have the endpoint url configured up to the the main context of the api and then you can configure the resources and allow only those resources through this api gateway okay api definition is automatically generated the swagger endpoint no need to worry about rest of the parameters we'll keep it as defaults so uh, let's quickly see the developer portal if you are able to see something so let's open the developer portal make it as a dev portal it will make a login automatic as of now no apis are there that means our api has not been published yet so we'll go to the deployment we'll create the first deployment over here okay so our api has been deployed now let's see is it visible no it should not be visible because it has not been published so deployment and publishing are the two different artifacts in to understand deployment means your api is deployed to the gateway publish means it's ready to be uh, uh, consumed by the customers or your api consumers okay so with the help of publisher portal since our api has been deployed on the gateway we'll go to the tryout section as i have demonstrated previously in the presentation that uh, we can test the api via publisher portal so this testing will cover here only so it automatically generates a test key uh, with the particular uh, validity and uh, we are good to test so this feature is beneficial when you have to perform internal testing without publishing it to the uh, publishing it to be ready for the api consumption by the external consumers we'll just create on the execute button and there we go we see that the the api call has made successful and we are able to call the api using the sample uh, payload uh, and the test key okay that means we are confident enough that, that this api is working fine so api creation and the deployment is complete now we are ready to publish this api so we'll just click on the publish button to publish the api and it will be available on the developer portal for external consumption okay so this way we have seen how we have created and published the api next it comes to the testing of the api so first part of the testing you have publisher portal we have covered next we'll see via developer portal how we can test the api so if we'll go to this we'll go to the tryout section it will ask that we have to subscribe to an application and we have to we can apply any of the security type okay so we'll go to the subscription either we use existing application or we can create a new application let's say we go to create a new application we make it as a test application we'll keep rest of the parameters as a default we make a per token quota 10 per minute as a default we'll save this configuration we'll go to subscriptions we'll go to subscribe select a particular tier of a subscription let's say we select a bronze tier for this testing click on the subscribe option done now we are ready for testing this api just click on api go to tryout option now it is asking that the consumer can the secret not generated as i mentioned previously to test an api uh, that has a subscription with an application it must have a valid credentials so we'll go to production keys option we'll keep the password and the client credentials option selected we'll create a generate keys option the credentials are generated now we'll go to the subscription go to the api go to the tryout and this time we see the test application is visible create on the test key so this generates a test key for your uh, testing purpose via developer portal uh, we expand this particular resource click on the tryout and execute and there we go so this way we have successfully tested via developer portal itself next is to test via the curl so this screen automatically generates a sample curl request for you so in case you are not able to call this particular gateway url from your machine so you can copy this url you can go to the terminal window okay and uh, you just need to paste this curl request over here 
uh, kindly note that if this is HTTPS based URL, you just need to supply minus K while testing the API. Otherwise, it will throw a curl uh, SSL error. Let me show you how this comes actually. So this gives you a curl SSL certificate problem. So this is a self-signed certificate. So it doesn't verify the identity of the certificate issuer. So we just need to, to bypass that uh, uh, thing. We need to supply minus K. And there we go. We have tested the API via curl as well. Next is to test via the postman. So to test via postman, we just need to click on the postman collection option. And it generates a postman collection for you. Just go to the download section and let's see uh, where we have uh, the recent so okay so we'll just uh, so this is our postman collection 3 okay so just for the demo purpose I'll just grab this and uh, uh, I'll just uh, go to my desktop and paste this collection here okay now open this postman collection now open the postman client so i have already opened my postman client over here just import this collection just click on the import option you can drag and drop or you can browse the files as well so click on here and click on the postman collection open here and you can see uh, we have a test api 01 we see we have one resource over here okay and we have authorization option so if it is a OR token so we need to pass that token here otherwise it will fail let's make a first request so it is asking that it is saying that uh, there is an error because we have not supplied the credentials so for authorization we are passing the bearer token so let's hit this so somehow it is picking some a different value so don't worry on that part so we'll go here with our curl request or we can generate a test key from here we'll copy this go to the postman paste it here as a bearer token and hit the request now here it worked okay so this is uh, we have authorization using the bearer token it also generates a curl request which you can copy and make a request okay the second option that we have enabled using the api key so let's go back we can have an api key based testing as well so we just click on that get the test key option copy the test key and go to postman now here we have to select no auth option go to headers tab enter the api key option paste the api key and hit the request it's a successful again so you can see the sample curl request instead of the authorization header we have an api key header here as well so this concludes uh, the final part of this uh, demo so we have created and published the api we have done the testing via the publisher portal itself the developer portal curl request and finally the postman and using the postman we have used two options using the authorization header using the bearer token and the api key okay so thank you very much for this session. So thank you very much for your time and stay tuned for my upcoming hands-on lab exercises on WSO2 API Manager 4. You can refer to my blog links for useful contents on WSO2 products and official API Manager documentation as well. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for upcoming videos and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.